all remember the forgiveness that was displayed at the end of the Amber Geiger trial from the beginning, of, or from the brother, I should say, of the shooting victim, Botham Jean. But it was also a show of compassion from the judge in the case that created support as well as criticism. That judge is Tammy Kemp, and today she is talking about her outreach to Amber Geiger. Our Steve Pickett spoke with her today. He is joining us live at the Crowley Courthouse with what she had to say about all of this. Steve? And she does talk about, Doug, that she was caught up in the emotion of watching that a young man, the brother of Botham John, and his display. And she went to the John family and then, as you know, went on to Amber Geiger. Uh, she told us that she has cried in court before as a prosecutor and a judge. In our interview with her, she shed tears as well discussing this. In her view, she says... Uh, her discussion and outreach to Amber Geiger was not a violation of any kind of judicial effort on her part. And what she did there, she said she'd do for others. So I said to Ms. Geiger, uh, Ms. Geiger, please, Mr. Jean has forgiven you. Please forgive yourself. She presided over a trial watched by millions. But the case against Amber Geiger took on a life of its own when the brother of Botham Jean hugged Amber Geiger and then State District Judge Tammy Kemp did the same, then gave Geiger a Bible. I had no role to represent the state during a victim impact moment. Today, Judge Kemp said the outreach to Geiger came after all court proceedings had ended, and she was not using religion in the courtroom. And then she said, but I don't even have a Bible. I don't own a Bible. I don't know where to begin. And I said to her, well, I'll get one for you. Do you understand that people view this as that's not your role and responsibility when you have that robe on for the betterment of the people of Dallas County? That that's no, what you're not supposed to I do. I do not. Ms. Geiger asked me for a hug. And I'm embarrassed to say that she had to ask me twice. I never asked Ms. Geiger to pray. And contrary to popular opinion, I did not pray with her. She will forever be the murderer of Botham John. How she carries that thus forward depends on how we receive her. And as a Christian, I believe I'm commanded to offer her love and compassion, just as Brant John did. Judge Kemp told me that most of us in the media and frankly across the world viewed this trial from the back. She said she viewed it from the front and she could see, in her words, watch Amber Geiger deteriorate emotionally in that case and she wanted to do something to try to help in that regard on both sides for the John family and for Geiger. Nonetheless, there has been a complaint, a formal complaint on judicial conduct filed against her. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.